The markets close out August in the red. My name's D7, and I own Grok Trade. It's Wednesday Hump Day here at August 31st, 2016. All major indices in uh, negative, and we get small caps down 0.56% leading charge to the downside. However, yet again, banks, financials, still bullish. The, the banks have been on fire, but the markets as a whole just not responding to that, which is shocking. Guys, I've been trading 18 years, and I'm telling you, I've not, I cannot remember seeing such a run in financials that was not followed by similar actions in the broad markets. Incredible times that we're seeing right now. Crude oil crashing down 3.5% and precious metals mixed. All right, Spider. This is an ETF or an exchange traded fund on the S&P 500. We do that instead of the diamonds or on the Dow 30. And we do this uh, Spider instead of the NASDAQ, which the tech stocks... They are weighted and biased towards tech-type companies. That's why we're looking at the spider. Spider, we continue in this triangle. It, now, because this triangle happened at the top of this, this is more bullish than is bearish. Today, though, today, we were going down, 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 down. It was a bloody day at one point. But by day's end, we rallied back, giving us a hammer at this area of support. You can see support here, here resistance here this is a perfect symmetrical triangle pennant formation up here so i'm thinking that we have a decent chance of a rally closing out the week so remember me saying that and but long as we stay below this red line above this red line anything can happen so let's go here to the nasdaq Remember, I'm showing you this rolling over, rolling over, rolling over, rolling over, rolling over, rolling over. Nice rounded top here, but it looks like we're getting ready to pop. If it pops, we expect to get a little bit of a, a pop. Thursday, Friday, here in the markets should be decent. If I go back here to the spider, I want to show you something. I'm going to go to the monthly chart. Monthly chart, because the month is over, is a doji, but it closed slightly more bearish than bullish. Even though it looks like a doji, it's a red doji. You can see it here. So we had a tweezer top in the last couple months. Now we have a lower high, but we have a higher low. So it's an inside trading candlestick for the month. So we're pausing at the rising 8 E. M A on the monthly chart. And if I want to look at the bloodbath that's going on in crude oil, hit our head at resistance. A few days ago, we popped up, hit resistance, and came back down. Still bull flag, thinking we have a good chance of rallying. But all bets are off the table now after today's Big drop, huge drop below all major moving averages. So look for this to continue to drop back down to this area. So look for a lot of pain going into next week, the remainder of this week and next week, because I think that could be a reality for us. And if I go to the monthly chart here, I expected this to pop and it certainly still can. I'm going to move that over here as long as it can stay above this blue line. And look at this. I mean, we have this red one. Resistance, resistance, resistance. It's my phone. And then a support area right there. So, wow, something to be watching for in the monthly chart. But the monthly chart in the down leg here. Or I'm sorry, this is a weekly chart. Weekly chart, down leg. Oh, man, you know what? Um, I said weekly. <sighs> I hate doing this. <laughs> the monthly chart on the spider is this one. 
So, monthly chart on the spider. The last chart I was showing you, last chart I was showing you was on the weekly chart. And so, on the monthly chart, this makes more sense. We're up, 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 up. We still have a higher high, higher low. This is a doji, though, after an extended run to the upside. So this could be the start of a drop. Uh, because remember, sign of a doji is indecision at the top of a leg. And sure enough, we have our leg, 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 doji at the top of the leg. That is that. So anyway, that's where we're at. If I go to the diamonds, um, this is the Dow. We close for a loss for the month. It's a red candlestick. We up, up, up. And now we closing loss. This is what the NASDAQ has done. NASDAQ, nice and bullish, but we went up, t tested resistance on the monthly chart. And yeah, coming right back down, small caps, looks a little more healthy. But the banks monthly, look at this, boom, to the upside for the month. So I have got to come over here, do this, and say, now that is now a buy. I said sell here, now it's a buy because we broke resistance. So I'm committed to that area, but we have resistance coming um, across here. And I need to add a line from this one to that one to, to feel good about this chart. Anyway, I'm all over the place here. And if you guys are new with us, make sure that you stay, that you won, go down here and click on this click me button if you're on YouTube and subscribe to us. But go to Grok Trade right here and learn a little more about us. So, there you have it. If you like it, like it.